the small indestructible Nokia feature phone 3310 might be relaunched. There are new rumors about iPhone 8. While we are struggling with self-driving cars, Dubai has a new take on it. Today is Tuesday, February the 14th and this is 360 TV. Nokia's comeback smartphone, Nokia 6, is finally out in India, but don't be too happy. Now, Nokia 6 smartphone is selling at 32,440 rupees, which is nearly double of the Chinese price. And if you're still interested, you can always head to eBay India to buy it. If you do place the order, wait for 25 days for delivery as stated in the listing. The smartphone may also have a global release. Nokia 3 and Nokia 5, Nokia's Android smartphones, may launch at MWC Barcelona 2017. And there's a new rumour that's brewing Nokia 3310 might have a relaunch and may be priced at a really affordable price of about 4,000 rupees. Now, Nokia 3310 was known for its sturdiness and boy, do we need those kind of phones now. WhatsApp might change its status to a Snapchat story-like feature. Rumour has it that this feature has been seen on a WhatsApp beta for iPhone. Status messages may now use photos and videos. Plus, when you change your WhatsApp status, your friends might be notified. If you find it too intrusive, there might be a privacy feature that might help you turn it off. Another leak about iPhone 8, actually two of them. One of them is wireless charging. Now, Apple joins the wireless power consortium that's called the WPC. The WPC is an industry group behind wireless charging standards. Does this mean iPhone 8 will have a long-range wireless charging? We can just wait with bated breath. A KGI Securities analyst says that the iPhone 8 might have a 4.7-inch display smartphone with a battery life of almost as big as the iPhone 7. How very interesting that means it might have a battery of 2700 mAh. Now, it also might have 3D improved touch. If you want to recommend places on Google Maps to your family or friends, Google now makes it possible. You can share, create or even follow lists made by others. These lists can be viewed and edited offline. Now, this feature will roll out on Android and iOS devices. Here, you and me are getting excited about self-driving cars, but Dubai, being Dubai, has its own style. Now, Dubai is launching, wait for it, self-driving flying taxis. Now, how does this work? Select your destination like you do on an Uber or an Ola app, fly the route like a drone, and then touch down. It's that simple. That's all on this edition of 360 Daily with Aman Rashid. I'm Devika Chitnis for Gadgets 360. Need to say it with the punch. But I'm so fascinated, how can they do self-driving flying? Like, how? Like, you are thinking, oh, Ola ni aari, Uber ni aari, baad, baad. Tarakki karni to is style se karna chuhi.